Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a tips and tricks video for Dying Light 2 on how to find the hoverboard. This is an Easter egg, we a special hoverboard, back to the future style that you can use on water. And this is a tips video to show you where to find it and how to get to a shortcut for it, because you can bypass some of the steps, although some are still required. And this requires you to have the second area of the map unlocked. So you need to go through the main story missions to unlock this section, but you'll see that the beginning part of this is located at the Church of St. Thomas the Apostle, and there's a military airdrop at the top, which we need to get to. But in order to do this and activate the hoverboard, you first need to go into the church and connect some electrical cables. So follow me through the church here and I'll show you the quick steps for doing that. You need to be careful because there are some zombies inside that are level five, I think, and I am not that high just yet, but you can, so you can get to this area even if you aren't that higher level. You just need to take care to avoid those. Jump up here and then you'll find that there is a bit of wood that you can move out of the way and that gives you access to another room where the initial electrical box is. You need to put a cable into that and then climb up the tower essentially to be able to plug in the cable at the other end connect up a radio and that radio then starts the first part of your journey towards finding the hoverboard and there are multiple steps beyond this which we can skip which is excellent but you do need to be able to climb up the tower obviously without falling down. Now you can get to the military airdrop with a bit easier climbing up the outside of the building but it is really important to activate the electrics first and to do the radio because if you don't do this then you won't find the initial part of the hoverboard so you can't bypass this step unfortunately so you can't just climb up to the top get the airdrop and then use the hoverboard that's worth bearing in mind because that's what I tried to do the first time and it just doesn't work so pass through here where the bell is then you'll see the other end of the electrical cables and you just need to connect that up and once you've done that we just need to climb up one bit more and you'll see that there's an airdrop here which I've already accessed but if you go through to the other side you'll find that there are some bits of yellow areas where you can climb and jump across it's a little bit tricky might take a couple of times to do unless you've leveled up your jumping capabilities and then follow that round to the side and in here you'll find a little radio you'll note there's no hoverboard in the room at the moment but if you go on the radio and listen to the communications there there's a little easter egg towards dr emmett brown from back to the future and uh, so you just listen through to that heart and then skip on and you will find that the hoverboard appears so once you've completed listening to that, you'll find the hoverboard appears here in the corner. Now normally when you activate this, you then need to use your survivor sense, which is Q on PC, to obviously scan the surroundings and you'll see some red footprints in the area on the floor. And you're meant to follow these around the map to multiple different hoverboard locations before you reach the final destination. The good news is you can skip all of those and get straight to the main point on this bridge, which is the final one before the car. So you can get this one on the bridge and then you can get to the car. I'll show you where that is. So there's multiple different hoverboards you need, normally need to get to, but on the muddy grounds bridge here that I've marked, you can see that bridge location. That is where that initial one is. So if you just follow me through here, I'll just quickly fast forward through this, but you've seen where the location is. So you're just running or paragliding across this area until you get to that bridge location. Once you've picked up the hoverboard from there, you can then find the car. Now you obviously can follow this, the red footprints and go through all the different hoverboard locations if you want, but it's not necessary. You can just pick up this one and then you can go to the car and unlock it. So once again, it's on the muddy grounds bridge. You can see it's an arch bridge here. And then essentially we just need to run across from there in a straight line down to the other end to near another bridge. So I'll just show you that. So pick up the hoverboard there and then we just run down to the next area. So we've basically got where we first started behind us as we run down the bridge straight down and keep going and then what you want to do is just keep going down here avoiding all the danger and zombies along the way park around a little bit if you feel the need but what you'll find is there's three red buildings at the end on the left hand side and just before a little bridge there you'll find a blue car open that boot up and you will find that there is a hoverboard in the back 
and activate that and then you can take part in the hoverboard mini game. Now what I will note is that I'm not very good at this but it does seem to use your paraglider to let you fly a little bit so if you use the boost mechanic on that and other things it can cause problems. There's also some explosives around which you need to avoid and you can see I've failed it. It's not easy to do but it is pretty cool to be able to use the hoverboard. Hopefully you found this video useful on how to find a hoverboard. Be sure to check out the links in the description to the other tips and tricks videos I've done for Dying Light and have a great time because it's a fantastic game. Thanks for watching.